Hello Python programmers, this is Aki. In this video, we are going to create a one multiplayer classic game that is named as Pong game. I think all of you played this classic game in your devices. I plan to create this game using Turtle library in Python. Turtle is a graphical drawing library. You don't need to install this library on your machines because it is pre-installed. It is a very simple and a classic game. And here I applied some simple logic to create this game. Because every beginner who watching this video must understand this code without any complexities. Okay, so let's start this video. First we need to import the turtle library as t and you need to declare two variables here that is player a score and player b score. Actually this is a multiplayer game. We need a couple of players to play this game and in this variable you need to set value as 0. And we need to create a window, declare a variable called as window and call the screen object. And set the title as Pong game. Next you need to set the background color as green. You can set any color that you want. You need to set the dimensions and add one more step that is you need to set the screen speed. For that use windows.tracer and inside the tracer object you need to pass the value as 0. Ok, so this is the primary step. We just completed the steps for creating a window. Next we need to create two paddles that are present in this game. Create a variable called as left paddle and in this variable call the turtle object that we created. And you need to set the speed for that paddle moves in the game and set the shape of the paddle and give color to that and change the size and position of the paddle. These are the attributes to create the paddle in this game. So this step is used to create the left paddle only. For creating the right paddle, just copy the code and paste the code in the next line. And you need to change one thing that is the position. In the left paddle, we give minus 350 value. But you need to give plus 350 value for creating the right paddle. This change determines the paddle position. Ok, so this is a very important step and we successfully created two paddles. Next we need to focus to create the ball for this game. Declare a variable called as ball and in this variable pass the turtle object. And give the attributes like speed, shape, color, position of the ball movement and direction of the movement. So these are the attributes for creating the ball in this game. Next we need to create a pin. Declare a variable called as pen and this object is used to update the scorecard in this game and give the attributes like speed, color, position, text and alignment. These are the attributes to create a pen for updating the scorecard in this game. Ok. Now we completed all the prerequisites and these are the objects that are required to play this pawn game. Next we need to add the movements and logics. It is very very important steps in this video, so don't skip the video from here. Declare a function called as left paddle up and this function is used to move the left paddle to 90 degree towards the upward position. This is the logic that I created under this function. So you can easily understand this logic that I am applying here. Ok. And declare another function called as left paddle down. You can easily guess what this function is going to do. First we created a function that is used to move the left paddle in upward direction and this is going to move the left paddle in downward position. So only we used minus 90 degree straight angle degree to move the paddle downwards in this game. So you can understand it is very easy to understand the logics. Now we are going to apply this movement to our right paddle. We use the left paddle movement code to apply the movement for the right paddle. Now we finished applying the movement to the objects in the game. Next we need to assign the keys to play the game. So initiate an object called as window listen. First we need to move the left paddle upwards. For that I assign the key as W. And next 
downwards movement so i assign the key as yes when i press the w button the left paddle moves upwards when i press the s key it moves downwards okay so this is the logic for the right paddle it moves upward when the key up direction is pressed for moving the downwards the right paddle i just assign the key as down direction next we need to insert the main game loop declare a while loop under this loop we need to give the movements to the ball so create ball dot set x and inside the object you need to pass two parameters that is ball dot x corner that is added with ball x direction this object is used to move the ball towards the x direction this ball will move the speed of 0.2 frame rate this value is inserted initially when I, when we created the ball using the turtle object and follow the same step for creating the movement of ball in y direction we are going to set up the border width between the paddle and the boundaries of the screen you need to create a condition if the ball dot y corner is greater than the boundary value of 290 then the ball sets in the direction of 290 this is for right top paddle border just change the value to minus 1 for the left paddle border this step seems a little bit confusing once you practice you will understand completely okay now we need to set up the now we need to set up the right width border you need to follow the same steps for creating the right width border so follow the steps carefully and one more thing is we need to count the points that the player misses out how we can calculate the point means when the ball x direction value meets its own boundary value then it is considered as the player miss out the ball so this is the condition that i inserted here and do the same steps for left width border but you need to apply negative value as minus 390 to the left width corner these steps are a little bit complicated to understand for the beginners so try to understand by practicing this code multiple times okay now, now look at this this step is used to handling the collisions of the ball i will explain this step more clearly there are two conditions for the ball if the ball touches the paddle with the value of less than 350 and the other condition is if the ball meets the paddle with the greater than value of 350 the ball will move the inverse direction for inverting the direction we multiplied minus 1 with ball x direction and this is for the right paddle for the left paddle you need to inverse the values that you used in the right paddle suppose we used the 340 value in the right paddle in the left paddle you need to inverse that value okay you need to put minus 340 in the left paddle value now i will explain more clearly with a real time example consider this game as a graph the right hand side is always be a positive side and the left hand side is always be a negative side if you are giving the positive value in the right paddle that is opposite to the left paddle so this is the simple logic that i inserted in this code and this is the main step you need to understand in this game development And that's all about the code this seems very big code but the logic is very simple to understand okay there are so many errors appeared while compiling the program but don't worry i cleared all the errors and i recorded that all possible errors in this video okay so kindly watch the error handling part and don't skip that part i cleared all the errors that i appeared in this video 
so this is our output our code works perfectly that's all about this video if you like this video give a like subscribe and share for more interesting scripts in python thanks for watching and thank you see you on next video